What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be doing a tutorial on how to create an emoji mini and bitmoji on Android with the Gboard, the Google keyboard. Now the emoji serves as an animated version of yourself in the virtual realm and can be used for many different purposes. The most popular one being texting. Now, if your phone doesn't have the Gboard app pre-installed, you can find it on the Google Play Store by looking for Gboard. And if you already have the Gboard app, you'll want to make sure you have the latest version by also checking on the Play Store for the Gboard app. For reference, I'm using the Pixel 5 running Android 11. As always, I only feature products or services I buy or would like to buy. This gives the channel more credibility and appeal because we feature items that interest me and change the way we live. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. You can also support the podcast by making a small monthly donation. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start by talking about how to create an emoji mini. First, we'll start by opening our messages app. Next, we'll go ahead and open a text. We can then tap the text message field. Now this pulls up the virtual keyboard and a navigation bar on top of it. Now in this navigation bar, we wanna look for a square icon with a smiley face inside of it and tap on it. Here we have a list of emoji options we can add to the Gboard simply by tapping the add button. Now we wanna create an emoji mini, so we're gonna look for minis and then we're gonna tap add. Now creating an emoji mini is really cool because it uses your camera to take a picture of yourself to help create the emoji. Now in order to do this, we have to give the Gboard camera permission, so we're gonna tap while using in the app. And now this is going to pull up the camera. We wanna make sure our face is in the center as much as it can be. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the picture. And now it's going to create our mini. Of course, this is going to serve as the base and we will be able to edit the base, but this is just to get us started. So you can see this is what it basically pulled up and we can tap on show me. So it's kind of laughable because it's funny, it's an animation, but in a really cool sense, it's actually fairly accurate. Now, there are a few minor differences here. Obviously, my hat's not blue. Um, I am not wearing any glasses right now. I don't know if maybe the lamp covering, you know, the shadow uh, being produced by the lamp made the software think I was wearing sunglasses. But again, we can edit this if we're not happy with the result. But overall, I'm happy with the processing. It works really well. So as you can see, when processing is complete, we have three categories of emojis here. We have the emoji mini, we have the sweet mini, and then we have the bold mini. So as you can see, there are many things going on here. Now again, we can customize these options and we wanna work with the emoji mini. So I'm going to tap on customize in the emoji mini section. So here we are in customization mode and you can see that we have quite a few options and these can be seen by sliding on the navigation bar. It's not a whole lot. They're pretty simple, but you can make changes to the emoji mini. Now I'm going to go ahead and do myself so you can see how this works and we're going to start with the hair. Now my emoji mini is wearing a hat and I do have a hairline here. Doesn't really have like what I have exactly in the app, but we've got something close. So I'm going to go with this here. Again, you can't tell because the emoji mini is wearing a hat. And we're going to go to the next option. We would have hair color. You could change the hair color of your emoji mini. Doesn't have to be your real hair color. This is the part where you get to have fun. Uh, then we have the face color, very accurate there. We're not going to change that. Facial hair, very accurate again there. Um, you know, again, the software did really well in taking in the picture and processing it to create this emoji mini. So we're gonna continue on here. Hard to tell on the camera, but I do have freckles, so I always have to add the signature freckles in there. And then we have the glasses. Now I actually do wear glasses right now. I'm wearing contacts, 
but I do have transitions. So this would kind of work. I would probably go more like this. My transitions are more uh, edgy, more rectangle. Uh, but for the time being, we're not wearing glasses right now. And I like to wear the contacts more, so we're gonna go with that. Hat, uh, pretty spot on again. Uh, we wanna see if we can eventually change the color of that. And then we've got t-shirt color. I'm a minimalist, I like black and gray, so I'm either gonna go with black or gray here. We'll do the black. Uh, earrings, I do have earrings. Uh, it didn't catch that. Little things like that it might not catch, so we're gonna add the earrings in there. We're gonna just scroll down here. Now, I gotta go back to the hat. I think I missed that. I think you slide down here. So some options, you might have to slide down more to get colors. Uh, that hat, we can either go black, or gray. Uh, I think I'm feeling more of the gray. And then we're gonna tap save. So there we go, we've got our emoji mini. And basically we have all these different emojis we can select from. So that's going to be really cool. Now again, if you wanted to, you can go in, you can customize the sweet mini, and you could do the bold mini as well. You would just have more minis to play with in many different situations like texting, for example. Now the next emoji we want to talk about here would be the bitmoji. So we're going to go ahead and do one of those. So we're going to back out of here and this is going to take us back to our text conversation. And we're going to look for bitmoji and we're going to tap add. Now when you do go to add a bitmoji, it pulls up the bitmoji app in the Google Play Store within the messages app. And you're going to want to install that in order to create a bitmoji. So this isn't something that's fake. It's nothing to worry about. This is a part of the process. So we're going to tap install. Now once the app is installed, we can go ahead and tap open. Now you can either sign into the bitmoji app with Snapchat or your email. So here we are at the screen to create a bitmoji and we can choose between a female and male. That's going to be pretty cool. It makes the creation a little bit easier, I assume. So we're going to tap male. Now bitmoji works similar to the emoji mini where you're encouraged to take a selfie of yourself to help in the creation of the emoji. So we're going to tap continue. But if you did want to skip this, you could tap skip as well. So again, just like creating an emoji mini, we have to allow the Bitmoji app access to the camera so that it could take a picture and process it to help us create our emoji. So we're gonna tap while using the app. And here we are again, and uh, we are gonna go ahead and take the picture. Okay, so there we go. And this time it forgot the hat. Um, at least there's no glasses this time. It looks fairly accurate. And you can see here that we have our emoji. <laughs> um, the navigation bar is on the bottom this time. We're gonna have similar options. We can swipe, but we've got even more options. So the Bitmoji, it's more customizable. So we're gonna run through this just like we did with the Emoji Mini. Uh, the start and spot looks good. Hair looks good. Hair color, we can switch more to a darker color. Uh, if you have hairstyles, you could, you could pick a hairstyle, maybe what you wish you could look like. For example, let's add some long hair. Uh, not really my kind of thing. So I gotta go back to where my original hair was. Let's see if I can find it here. We're gonna click on that. And then we've got facial hair. Facial hair, again, pretty spot on, just like the Moji Mini. So we can leave this alone. I don't see anything that's really any better. Eyes, uh, pretty, pretty uh, spot on, I would say. That would be the eye shape. You could do the eye size. You could do eye spacing. Eye color is also an option. You know, maybe you want something that looks a little crazy. You could change it to blue or green, anything like that. We're gonna default back to brown. I like to make my stuff look pretty much like me. Uh, then we have eyebrows. You can choose like your eyebrow shape, style, that kind of thing. Uh, you have a color for the eyebrow color as well. Nose shape, um, this looks pretty good to me. I'll actually go with this one though. I think it's a little bit more accurate. Uh, we have our jaw. 
So uh, I, I would think this one would be best. That's, or maybe it's what I wish my jaw would look like. I don't know. Like when you're running through this, you're kind of wondering like, is this what I really look like? Or is this what I want to look like? Either way, you just have fun with it. Uh, you have face shape. You have lips, uh, mouth, you can change that. You can change the ears. Uh, we'll go with, with now those ears look, I don't know. I don't know if my ears are big, that's the thing. Again, we missed the freckles here. They missed the freckles, that's okay though. We can go ahead, we can add those in. Uh, let's see if you have, you know, things like forehead lines, eye lines, you can add those in. Uh, you know, we, we, we'll add some eye lines in because I do feel a little tired today, um, but nothing too extreme. So right there. Uh, and then we have body type. So you can change the body type. I would say I'm a, not that slender. Um, I would probably say it's a tough call because I got some muscle on me. So I would say about right there. Uh, eyeshadow would be for the ladies. Blush for the ladies, lipstick for the ladies. You can add all that too. Actually, I really shouldn't say that because we live in more of an open-minded world these days. Um, so nothing against anyone for doing what they what they love. You know. Next, we have glasses. Uh, this is again more detailed than the Emoji Mini. We've got a lot of different shapes here. Again, we're not wearing glasses right now, but you could also have fun here. So we have like some futuristic spy night vision goggles here we could put on. Um, some cyberpunk uh, accessory glasses here. Just some weird illusionary glasses. Not really sure if illusionary is a word, but I just said it. Uh, but we're gonna go with no glasses. Hat again, we wanna look for a hat that works for us. Found the hat, that's that's pretty perfect for me. But you can go with different things. You can go with, you can go with a crown if that's your thing. You could go with the hat backwards. You could go with the headphones, that could be a thing. Uh, you can go with a headband. Uh, if, if you're into playing basketball or, or maybe anything like that. You've got a lot of different choices here. Now, I'm not sure if you can change the color of the hat. It just looks like we've got a lot of options here. A lot, a lot of options. And what I like here is if you go down, a lot of it can also be cultural. So you've got cowboys, um, you've got, I don't know what, I don't know the exact culture of this, but it might be Islamic or Indian or, or anything like that. Um, sorry if I am politically incorrect, uh, but I like that. I like that they're appreciating a lot of different cultures. Uh, and you can really make this in a way to get your message across about how you identify as well. I think that's really cool. And it's really important in 2021. And then we've got outfits. So new arrivals. This is like going to the clothing store. Uh, for me, again, you know, I like to keep things pretty simple. We're looking for simple here. I kind of like this outfit. Looks really cool. Uh, so we've got the outfit, but we could change things individually, you know, say we want to change the shirt We can change the shirt individually. We could change the pants uh, Women can change the dresses if they like uh, Sneakers, so uh, I am a Jordan fan. So we've got Nikes. We've we've got uh, We've got what else do we got? We've got just boots plain boots plain sneakers So not a whole lot here. It's mostly Nike. It looks like they're maybe sponsoring this app um, And if you're going no sneakers, you can have socks or no socks Jackets outerwear as it's called you can put that on uh, I like that. I'm gonna go with that looks most close to what I'm wearing now and then we have the closet, which would be where all your outfits are stored that your emoji has worn. So I would say the Bitmoji is more fun because it's more in depth than the emoji mini. So once we've created our Bitmoji, we can tap the save icon. Now, before we do that, I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to change this hat 
and I'm just gonna go with that solid color. And now when we're ready to save our Bitmoji, we can tap save in the top right hand corner. So now that we've created our Bitmoji, you can see that we have a list of what would be called stickers. These are a lot more fun than the Emoji Mini. Again, just because everything is more in detail. You can see these kind of look like something out of a comic script and they are meant to more describe your mood. Now this list is also really long. If we scroll down here, it seems to go on forever and ever and ever and ever. But again, you've got choices. So let's talk about switching between emojis in the Gboard. So we're going to go right back into our messaging app. We're going to go back into our conversation and we're going to pretend we're doing a text. Now again, we want to look for that square icon with the smiley face in it and tap on it. So here we are again in the add emoji section and we don't need to add any more emojis unless we wanted to. We already created some. So you can see that top navigation bar, that would be where our emojis are. Now this page is going to show our emoji minis. So if we tap on the icon for one of the emoji minis, we can look around here and we can go ahead and just tap on one. And then we could hit the send icon. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and look for our Bitmojis, we would look at that lower navigation bar and we would tap on the icon. It's kind of in a square, but it's like winking. So we're gonna tap on that. And this is where all the Bitmojis would be. Again, they're a little bit more illustrated, more comical, more fun to play with. So we're gonna just tap on one and then we can press that send icon again. Now you can also view these bigger in your messaging app by tapping on them. And this is where it might be cool to actually take a screenshot because you can set these as avatars for other things or post them to other apps. Just a nice little trick. So final thoughts. The emoji serves as an animated version of yourself in the virtual realm. The emoji serves as an explanation for your moods and varying situations and can be used for different purposes. With the Gboard, you can create an emoji that closely resembles you. Functionality in the Gboard also works really well and processing is fairly accurate. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support us is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.